Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Damien Reacts. I'm back with another video today, uh, Generation Hope. I have not seen a Generation Hope in a, uh, a video in a hot minute, so it's been a while. Um, wife divorces military husband after losing his legs. Shocking ending. With like 17 exclamation marks in this whole title. Two, four, five, two. Ten exclamation marks in this whole title. So, apparently it's a very interesting one. Um, so I did skip 2 minutes and 48 seconds in, recording now, I'm at, I'm at starting now, but yeah, same thing. I skipped two, 2 minutes and 48 seconds in because the preview, and then it was like a whole 2 minute uh, ad, so I just skipped all that. There's an ad little here, and I was like, I'm not doing that, I ain't got no time for that, I'm gonna give this video a like, so minus about 2.48, so about 11-ish minutes. So let's get into the video, guys. It's weird because like they haven't uploaded a lot. Like I I've seen this guy before and I think some videos. So again, military has been after losing his legs. That's so fucked up. Like. I made you breakfast. Your favorite. There you go. Thank you, baby. Oh, you always spoil me. I can't wait to marry you next week. Me too. But, you know, it just sucks that I have to deploy so soon after the wedding. It's okay. It's only for six months. So they're literally gonna get married. Oh yeah, it's it, it's his wife divorced. Oh my god. Plus, it'll give them time to fix up this beautiful house your parents bought for us. I mean, it's so big. I'm gonna have to hire a maid to keep it clean and everything. Yeah. Um. Speaking of my parents. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely would be tough. But if you love that person. Sign. Sign. We got a sign. Um, Catering yeah, just... bill. <laughs> there you go. Prenup prenuptial agreement. <clears throat> Isn't a prenup like preparing a for pre Yeah, so girls get pissed about a prenup because I've seen Wealth by Simon prank and Kay got pissed at the whole prenup thing. So what I'm thinking here is like I'm pretty sure that's like basically preparing for a divorce. So it's like he already knows in the back of his mind that she's gonna, gonna divorce him. And, I mean, he was correct. Look at the title, you know what I mean? I don't know if she actually signs it or not, but if she does, that's a win-win for you because then I guess you, like, you don't lose everything. It's like half and half, right? <clears throat> but yeah, girls get pissed about her prenup because it, it, it's like you're expecting a divorce, you're preparing for one, and it's like, what the fuck? You know, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, baby, but my parents are insisting that you sign this before we get married. I can't believe this. Do you think I'm some kind of a gold digger? No, of course not. But you know I'm inheriting a lot of money, so my parents just want me to be careful. If you really love me, you won't make me sign this. Damn. It makes me feel like you don't trust me. Come on, baby. You know, I'm just trying to do what my parents want, that's all. What about what I want? Doesn't that mean anything to you? Of course it does. Then you won't make me sign this. Caroline! You're not a real man. Even though you wear this uniform, what? you can't even stand up to your parents to defend me. How are you going to defend this country? Caroline, Jesus. please, baby, you know... Like, I get what she means, but at the same time, like, mm, I can't... Like, generally speaking, yes. Like, it's like, what the fuck do you want a prenup? But because I know the title of this video, I'm already kind of like, make her sign the prenup, make her sign the prenup. But you know? my parents just want to make sure that we're getting married for the right reason. That's all. The right reason is love, baby. That was a very... Come on, Maddie. You know I love you. I don't care about the money. Mm -hmm. Do you mean that? Of course I do, baby. Okay. Well, I'm going to call my parents and tell them that you don't have to sign the prenup agreement anymore. Now, there's the man I know. Everything is going to be fine. I hate girls like this. So I can inherit all that money. We'll start our lives together as a happy I love you. I love you too. I don't. But you see that eye roll? That is not okay. Two months later. So again, he he was already I, I think I think it's that they got married a week later or something like that. So now it's two months later. So one month and three weeks after the wedding ish, I guess. And here's Hello. obviously where he lost his legs. Is this Caroline Thompson? Yes, this is she. 
I'm Dr. Smith. Your husband, Surgeon Matthew Thompson, has had an accident. He's been relocated to a hospital here in town, and we need you to come right away. What do you mean? What do you mean he's had an accident? Is, is he okay? Is he okay? Come right away. <laughs> okay, I'm on my way. I'm on I feel like those were fake tears, but it seems real, so... But I, don't, I don't see why she cares so much if it's just money. Like, she only cares about the money, clearly. Thompson? Yes. What happened? Um, there has been an explosion at the base. Uh, he's stable now. Unfortunately, there has been a lot of damage to his legs. What do you mean? Mrs. Thompson, your husband will never be able to walk. Fortunately, we have uh, procedures that can show you how to give him baths, how to use the wheelchair. Baths. Just remember, you have wheelchair. to stay positive. This is not an easy process. I'll, I will get the nurse so she can provide you with more details. Uh, I'll give you some time. Later. Like, don't get me wrong. I do wonder, why is there like a mouse thing here? Why is that? It's kind of weird. See, see what I mean? Why is it like blinking down here as if, as if this is like the, whatever. Um, <clears throat> for me though, it's like, I fully understand her. Cause obviously it's like, bro, I don't want to have to deal with this. I fully understand that. Like I totally get that. But at the same time, this is your husband now. Like you just married him and you obviously just did it for the money because you obviously don't love him. Like you rolled your eyes when you were hugging. You were making that really eerie, really sus like smile. And then became all sappy and happy, and I was like, "Bro, this is da de these kind of women are dangerous to this to society, to anywhere, to everybody. It's just dangerous." <clears throat> but like, you can't be like this. Like, this is the people I hate. Like, I just can't stand people that do this. It's, just, it, it's not. It's not okay. It's it's really not right. Like, I hate when people do this. It's so annoying. Again, I get it, but like, you don't marry someone and then just leave them because they they lost their lives. Like, I fully understand. You don't want to have to deal with that. Like, you're like you don't want to be a caretaker to your husband. I fully understand that. And, and I, I don't know what I'd do. I, I definitely wouldn't want to leave them. It would definitely be really tough though, you know? she's treating him is not okay you obviously can't blame the guy because like he literally can't do it like he's not being lazy it's like you literally can't do it like you physically can't do it i can't help you right now why not Maybe I, I can't reach please it, it was just a second i really have to take it Maybe? i'm coming i'm coming please i'm coming i can't reach the cabinet yeah, i out. heard you didn't say losing his legs like his legs are right there obviously they're not gonna like cut them off for the video but like his legs are right there fam like they don't work yes but you can't say losing his legs because his legs are right there fam I was gonna say, why is it all like like echoey? You know what I mean? But that's because it was like a, a flashback thing or like a daydream, I guess. I don't know. It's too hard. Is this some kind of joke? No. I'm serious. Not a joke. I'm going to file for divorce. 
Divorce? Yes, divorce. And I'd like you to move out as soon as possible. But, uh, I'm confused. Where's all this coming from? Did that explosion give you brain damage too? I don't want to be married to you anymore, Matt. Baby, listen. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It does say shocking ending, right? It does say shocking ending. Okay, give me a second. I feel that because the parents wanted him to do a prenup, but then but then he convinced them, I guess, that she loved him. Is this all a setup? Like, I doubt, I doubt the hospital would call and be like, yeah, you have to come right away if it was a joke. Because, like, again, hospitals don't have time for this, but it's not shocking with, like, a thousand exclamation marks. So all I can think of is this isn't real. This is a setup. That's why he was like, wait, is this a joke? Sort of thing. I feel like this is all a joke. I feel like... I don't know. Because, again, they still did get married. And then... I don't know. Because they already got married, right? And now I guess it's too late for a prenup. Because prenup has to be done before, before the wedding, right? They can't really be done now. So I'm, I'm confused. But I feel like this is a setup. And I feel like she is going to be shocked. And as are we, apparently. Because I feel like this is a joke. I know things have been difficult, but we can work through this. No, we can't. You don't even have working legs. Would you just expect me to stay and take care of you forever? That's also the thing. Like, you don't want them to take... Like, if you're the partner, also, like, you don't want your partner to take care of you. Like, you don't want that for your partner. You don't want that for yourself. Yes, that's what marriage is. I mean, we're... We were together for better or for worse. We made vows to- Those vows didn't include you getting yourself blown up! Wait, wait, baby, please. Um, I'm your husband. No, not anymore. You're just a pathetic cripple with useless legs! Wow. None of this is making any sense. You told me you loved me. I was lying. I never actually loved you. I just married you for your money, Matt. But no amount of money is worth taking care of you. And your useless, pathetic legs! How can you say that to me? Look, Matt, I am a very beautiful woman. I can be with you, any- You just shown your true colors and now you're a negative 10. Like my coworker literally told me today, you could be the hottest person ever, you could be a 10. But if your attitude and you're a, like if you're at, if you had an ad, attitude and you're just a dick, then you're, then you're a one or a zero, so. Anybody I want to be with, and you expect me to just Stay here forever and be your little maid? I I didn't choose to lose the use of my legs. It's not my fault. It's not my fault either. We were supposed to have maids that would take care of us for the rest of our lives. And now I'm going to be stuck changing your gross bandages, helping you into the shower like some old person. I deserve better. I deserve to be treated like a queen. Now you're done because you're a bitch. Why? You're supposed to stick with me for better or for worse. Honestly, you disgust me. What? I can't even stand looking at you. You're not even a real man. You really are heartless. You think that's heartless? Wait till I take half your money. I didn't sign the prenup, remember? You're just such a fool for actually believing that I loved you. I lost my legs. Now you want to take more from me? That's right. Now let go of me. No, Carolyn, please. I'm your husband. No, you um, there, uh, there's, there's a couple minutes left. I'm waiting for him to stand up and say, Ha, bitch. I actually have my legs, and guess what? You're not getting shit. I don't know how. I don't know how something about. You're not my husband anymore. Cause like You're we just have. some cripple who can't walk. Now let go of me. No, Caroline, I love you. I said let go. Oh baby, please. You're just gonna leave me and take half of my money? Is that the only reason you were with me? Marriage is supposed to be forever. Caroline, come back, please. What Carol I didn't realize is that the hospital room had cameras and recorded everything. Matt's lawyers used this video in the divorce of Caroline and the judge decided that Caroline would not get a single thing after seeing how bad she treated Matt. I the love video that. was also leaked onto the internet where it went viral. People were outraged to see an injured veteran being abused. Okay, so you're telling me that he actually, okay, so he actually was. It, like, he actually was injured in an accident. Okay, so that was real. Fuck. Wait, is that is, is, is that him walking? Yeah, we're almost done with the warehouse. Is that him walking? Add an insulation. I think that's another $200,000. Matt, is that you? He's walking. He's been, uh, uh, hold on a second. Caroline? Yeah, what are you 
are you doing here? Oh, um, I just got hired to clean this warehouse. Wow, you're walking. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the military sent me up with new legs. Oh. That's great. How does that even work? Like, can you just get, can you just get new legs? Like, how does that work? Like, can you just get, a, like, you can get pro prosthetics, but you can't just get brand new legs. It's like, oh yeah, here's a donation, a random leg, like, pardon? Really good. Thank you, um, you look, how you been? <laughs> you um, look, how you been? Ever since that video came out, I actually haven't been doing that well. Are you expecting me to feel sorry for you? Because, like, bitch, you deserve it, so I give no fucks. Thank you. Turns out, it's kind of hard to find job or date someone when everyone thinks you hate veterans. Yeah, yeah. that's you. Well, my divorce lawyer thought it would be a good idea. Yeah. So. I guess I deserved it for how I treated you. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. That. No, you're not. <clears throat> well, thanks for saying that. <clears throat> Look, okay. you know, maybe no. do you want to go grab a cup of coffee? Uh, no, he's already taken. Something. I'll stop you right there. I'm yeah. actually busy. I'm meeting up with my fiance. We have date nights, so. Oh. You're engaged. Yeah, it turns out somebody does want to take care of me after all. Patty. Listen, um, I'll let you get back to being a maid. Um, I have to take this important phone call. Just... So that's funny how the tables have turned. So, he ended up getting new legs, so he lost his legs, but then he got new ones. So if she stayed with him, she wouldn't have to help him for the rest of his life because he has legs now. And now you're actually working as a maid, which you said you don't want to be. And now you are a maid, so ha! Make sure to get the windows, okay? <laughs> hey, Ben. Sorry about that. It was, uh, it was nobody. It was nobody. That's true. It was this nobody. This video is dedicated to all of our veterans. We thank you so much for your service and for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. And remember, here, here at Generation, Generation Health, Health, we're trying to make the world, world a better place, place one story, one story at, at a time. time. I don't know. I do like the ending that they use. Like, here at Generation Hope, we like to... Like, I, I like that. I'm not going to lie. I like your little slogan. Moral of the story, if a person has not been with you through your bad times, and they don't deserve to be with you during your good times. You have the right to only be that person during their good times if you have been with them in their bad times. Exactly. So, like... Yeah. Like, if someone's poor and broke, and, like, you're, and you're sticking with them, and then they're rich, they have this, they have that, then you get to partake in that, too, because, like, you were there when they had nothing. So now they want to support you when they have everything. You know what I mean? Like, we, we've heard that a lot in Dharma. You were, you were with me, you were, you were with me, and you gave me stuff when I had nothing, and now I want to give you everything. That's what they would say. So that's really good. I have been having difficulties with my marriage for some time now, but, the, but, but with the help of this source, source, sorceress, I have been able to get my marriage back together. You got, you got your marriage back together with, with just this video? I mean, okay. I would stay with him and take care of him, love him. She doesn't know to say that she deserves to be like a queen and couldn't even sign a prenup. Again, like a prenup, I get it. Like, I get why you wouldn't want to sign it because then it's like you don't trust them. Like, it basically is you saying, I don't trust you. So, just in case, I get to keep ev ev everything or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like, I fully get that. Like, it does kind of sound like, yeah, you know, I don't really trust you. You're like, you're kind of a dick. Like, you know, I, I think you're a gold digger. So I want you to sign this. Like I get it. It's kind of like, mm, kind of was like like would put a put a sour taste in your mouth. You know what I mean? So far enough, I can't really complain there. But she literally was a gold digger. She was literally pretending to like him and all that crap. But the thing is, though, again, it's really hard because like I'm not gonna say that I would necessarily want to stay and take care of my husband or wife forever. Like imagine like you're literally normally going to work every day like I am Monday to Friday. It's like, sorry, I can't go to work no more. I have to take care of my disabled partner, which that sounds bad. I'm just saying, like, imagine that. Like, imagine having to come home from work or wait. You can't even go to work because you have to take care of your husband or wife, right? I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's like someone else has to pay the, pay, pay the bills. And then you have to have, like, your own caretaker because let's say I go to work. I can't take care of you. Plus, let's say, like, you want to have a date night. Then you can't even have a date night because, because they can't go out. Like, I feel so bad for someone that's crippled because, again, no one's going to want to take care of you just because, like... It really does require a lot of patience. It's like having a, spe a, spe a special needs kid. My, um, my brother's autistic, as most of you guys know. I He can't talk, he's nonverbal, and like he just, like he walks and uh, does everything like that. He just can't speak, like he can't speak words. So obviously we can't communicate. The way that he communicates is basically giving me his iPad, and then I know what that means, basically to fix it for him, because it's not working. 
Or if he wants to drink, he literally just gives me his, his, his empty cup because he can't talk. And it can be really hard to deal with that because it's like, if you have to watch him, like obviously he's not disabled like that. Like he's not disabled. He has like, I don't know what autism is exactly called, like a mental disorder. Like what is that actually called? So it, it's just called a medical condition. So basically a development of a development of disability caused by differences in the brain. So if something in his brain is like not, I guess, working cor correctly, if that's how you say it, I'm not too sure. But it can be annoying because then it's like, you know, you have to watch him and take care of him, make sure that he doesn't do this, make sure that he doesn't do that, be with him at all times, you know what I mean? So it's like basically having a caretaker and having to be with him all along. And like, of course you love that person, like it's your brother, it's your sister, it's your family member, it's your, it's, it's your partner, it's your wife, it's your husband. You know, but at the same time, like, you don't want to be a caretaker for them forever. Because, like, that would be, it's like your life is taken away. Like, for example, if I had a partner and they, and, like, they said, oh, you know, I love you so much and everything. And then I became disabled. I would fully understand if they wouldn't want to take care of me, like, all their life. Like, I would feel super bad for myself, but also them too. Because I don't even like when people do anything for me. Like, if someone gives me a ride a few kilometers, I'm like, let me pay. Basically, my, uh, my point of me saying that is, like, I don't like people doing stuff for me in a sense. Like, of course I do. But then at the same time, I don't. Like, I don't like when my dad even comes to get me from work. Like, I feel bad that he's wasting his time coming at 11 p.m. to pick me up. I'd rather, I'd rather just bus. It's fine. Just leave me alone. It's fine. I'll just bus. You know? You, you know? Or I'll take the car myself and then I'll drive myself back, which I normally do, borrow the car and I go myself. Basically, what I, again, the whole point of bringing this up is because I'm saying that I don't like when people do favors for me in a sense without me paying them back in a sense like that. So imagine how I would feel in this case. Like imagine how I would feel if I have to say, yo, husband, wife, can you get me a drink, please? Like I would feel literally crap because yes, I have no choice and, I, and I'm probably in a wheelchair and I can still get a drink like that, but like let's say I can't reach something in the cupboard. Oh, wife, husband, can you please like, like get this for me? I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to disturb them every few minutes just to get something for me or help me go to the store or do this or do that. Like I would feel so bad. But then it's not it's not your fault. Like it's not the disabled person's fault. Like it's really not. Like it's it, like something happened, accidents happened, you know what I mean? So like like you get what I mean? But that, uh, that's my but that's my whole thing here. Like I would just feel bad and I would fully understand if someone would want to take care of me, because in a sense I would want someone to take care of me. Now if it's actually a caretaker, like they're actually a position name is caretaker as their job, that's fine. Like their work is a lead to take care of you. But then I wouldn't want my husband or wife to take care of me because, like, you'd rather just a caretaker actually take care of you because that's their job. Like, they're getting paid to do it at least. Like, they're getting paid to do it. If it's your husband or wife, they're not getting paid. Like, of course, you don't want to get paid for that. But at the same time, it's like your life is being taken away. So, mm, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, comments down below because I feel like this is, like, a really tough situation on both parties. The, the other person that's disabled and the person that's going to be basically expected to be their caretaker for the rest of their lives. Like, you know what I mean? It, it's not easy. It really isn't. I'm not saying just dip out and, and leave that person. But, like, you would definitely want to think of some kind of um, thing where you can still work, where you can still live life. By getting, uh, like, another caretaker, maybe. Um, but, but, like, it, it can be hard because then it's like someone has to work, right? And then if you work, you have to pay for the care, care, caretaker because they don't get any money, right? They, uh, they can't work unless it's, like, work from home. And then it's on some, like, they're on the wheel, sure, you're on the computer, and, the, and they do stuff, okay, that's fine, you, like, you work from home. <clears throat> but let's say that they can't work, then you have to work, and you also have to pay for the caretaker, and then it's, like, it's, it, it, it's really hard, you know what I mean? This is the longest video now, so I'm, I apologize for the length of this video. <clears throat> but if you guys understand what I'm saying, please comment, comment down below and let me know what you guys' thoughts are, because, again, it's a really tough situation. Again, I'm not saying leave your partner but it would, like you would definitely want to think of like a compromise or something to do here because <clears throat> like a deal in in a sense like again no one planned for this to happen so it's like it's no one's fault it's just like a really tough situation where like none of the per none of the people would obviously want to be in and if you are in it then it sucks because then it's like you don't want it, like you don't want to be expected to, to be the caretaker for the rest of your life you know what i mean anyways that's that's the end of my rant i really hope you guys get what i'm saying because i'm not trying, trying to be a douche by any means here I'm just saying how tough it can be and like how you wouldn't want to be a caretaker for the rest of your life. Like, you know what I mean? Because then you can't even live life anymore, right? Especially if you're like 20 years old and they're already married. Then it's like, and then something like this happens, like devastating. Then it's like, fuck. I love this person and now they can't even do everything that I wanted to do with them. You know, like, you know what I mean? So please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please be sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. 
And um, yeah, thank, uh, thanks for tuning into Damien Racks. I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Peace.